Hello Aries Collective, welcome to the channel. So I am going to be doing a Yuletide reading for you today on the winter solstice. I'm super excited for that. So let's just jump right into this, shall we? What we're looking at here in our first position, um, this card, this two of pentacles, is how you've handled the past year on an internal level. And I think for many people, many of the Aries, you're going to find, you know, this I am, your I am energy of being an Aries. You might have struggled with um, creative growth, or you might have struggled with spiritual growth or financial growth. It might have been a time for you that, you know, you had to reassess and toss all the, you know, toss all of the, the, the marbles on the floor and see which ones you didn't stumble over. There, you, you, you've suffered with choices. There were a lot of choices that you had to make. And maybe for some, this was choosing to continue in partnerships or relationships. It might have been continuing to or making choices to continue on an educational path or a career path or having to switch because of layoffs or shutdowns or whatever the case is. But it was a year of choices. But there was there's light at both sides of those choices. And there's the rainbow, you know, to remind us that we're, we're not going to have everything all the time. And that we have to appreciate the growth that we do have. So I think come, moving forward till spring, you know, these the choices that you made in the last six months are, are, are solid. They're solid choices for you. And they're going to help you develop this new endeavor or this new partnership or uh, this new financial structure or this new emotional path that you're laying down or this new um, relationship that you're creating or that you're trying to balance. For a lot of Aries, it might have been a very difficult time of balancing and juggling and trying to, you know, find connections with being at home all the time and, you know, maybe working with your partner if you're in a partnership and you're working with or you're in a relationship and you're working with that partner from from your house, something that neither one of you have ever had to do before and you're having to learn each other's quirks and you're learning having to learn each other's uh, idiosyncrasies in a completely new manner. Or maybe you chose to end a relationship and you're trying to figure out which path is going to be the most productive for you. I've seen relationships begin and I've seen relationships end even in my own close circle of friends. I've seen relationships evolve and grow and I've seen um, relationships devolve and like just end completely. I know people who started the year happily married and they're ending the year in the throes of divorce. It's, it just is what it is. This year forced everybody, and I'm, I'm, on, and I'm just speaking on a general level, just forced everybody to reassess and reevaluate and, you know, reflect on all of the different choices and, and directions and paths that we've chosen over the last years in our lives and some of us have chosen to take a different path these last few months and to move into a different realm of growth. And that's okay. That's okay. Position number two is how did you handle everything on an external level? You know, how did you present yourself externally? How did, how did the problems of the past or the issues of the past, how did that affect you on that emotional level? on the external side and it was the ace of cups and once again i think if you take the ace of cups and you pair it with that two of pentacles oh there were new emotions everybody was feeling it didn't matter who you were it didn't matter what your age or you you know the the what had happened and how everything presented itself it was just ridiculous it was a time of anxiety for people who had never experienced anxiety on on a deep level you know depression maybe there was a you know a semblance of happiness okay maybe you used to be the 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 yes girl or the yes guy or the yes in between who couldn't say no to anybody and quarantine allowed you or isolation allowed you to finally buck up and start learning how to use the word no and how to you know balance your own self and 
make choices that were based on what you wanted and what your emotions were telling you as opposed to what everybody else's were telling you. So for some, externally, those emotions were good. And I know, you know, it's, it's sometimes a challenge to show our emotions on the outside. But sometimes it's very good that we bring those emotions to the forefront and let people know, hey, what you're doing is hurting me. Um, this was also a time where we saw the, the upcoming, you know, the, the round of 2021 20, babies that are going to be born and new relationships that started, whether they started over Zoom or they started over the email or over TikTok or wherever the connections were made. But it was more on that emotional, let's connect on an emotional side as opposed to a physical side because, hey, we're in isolation and we can't, we can't really be near each other right now. We have to be socially distanced. So let's try and see if we can, we can develop this, this relationship on a deeper level in the beginning. This might have also been a time of new partnerships, a new way to, to branch out and to create new things. For some, it was a way to connect or reconnect with our intuitive selves, to reconnect with spirit, to reestablish patterns or create new patterns of how we, how we pray or how we create intention or deliberate meditations or find, you know, starting a new yoga practice or, or revamping whatever emotional therapeutic means you have, this was your way of doing it. So props to you, Aries. So what lessons will you carry into the new year? Well, for some, you have transmuted your outward strength and taken it internally. So for a lot of Aries, I think you're going to be taking with you the idea. Why are my cards so black right now? Probably because my lighting is off because it's a crappy day outside. Okay, sorry, I digress. All right. So this reversed strength, you're not necessarily showing the world, you know, the, the I am the strongest man at the gym. I am the best professional in the office. I am, I am, you know, I am woman, hear me roar. So not the, that's so not the case. This is your internal strength. You're carrying with you a new sense of purpose and a new sense of self. You are recreating and reaffirming who you are on the inside. So this is your, this is where you're, you're feeling it. And I think that this is a grounding period for you. So you're going to be moving into 2021 wiser, more appreciative, more understanding, more compassionate. Instead of just saying, okay, I have everything on lock and I, I understand and I'm moving forward and I'm just going to keep going and keep going. And you know you can't keep going at the pace that you were going and you're okay with that now. Yeah, you want normal normalcy, whatever the heck that means at this point, but... You want a normalcy to return, but there is a part of you and it's that internal part of you that is not so fearful anymore. And you're not holding back the way that you used to. And I think that lesson itself is going to propel you forward in, you know, in this, in these next few months to come. So what are you leaving behind? What have you decided to leave behind completely? You don't want to carry it forward and you're just over the crap. You're over the, um, the, the emotional instability. You're over emotionally stifling yourself. You're over allowing other people's bullshit to be your bullshit. You're over allowing others to dictate your social dynamic. You're over everybody else telling you how you should feel. You are owning your own. You want to move forward. You are going to own your own emotions and feelings and relationships. You're, you're, you're over with the emotional control. It's done. It's, you know, 
You're, you're, you know, it's your party. You could cry if you want to, but you're not going to be crying anymore, anymore. Okay. Looking at that five of cups, you're turning the tide. So there may have been, you know, some emotional, emotional growth that's happened. And now you're just like at a stagnancy and you want to see how it's going to evolve for you, but you're not allowing anybody else to, to conquer or to control or to dominate your emotional welfare. You're, you're in charge of that yourself. So what new lesson or what new path are you going to take in the coming months? Okay. And this is, you know, the next three months until we hit the spring equinox. So what do we have happening? Oh, I like that. You got the magician. New creation, y'all. This is, this is perfect. Like, this is perfect. You are sitting at home and, you, you know, your Aries energy. Here you go. Your Aries energy. The I am energy. You are the magician. You are going to create a new. You, you've got all the tools. You have all the tools right there in front of you. It's now, it's just time to kind of like put them all together. You know, you've got the emotion behind it. You, you have owned your truth. You're ready to, to communicate to the world. You are this fire energy. You know, you've got the plan in motion. You've got the money in motion. You've got the, you know, you've got the mental wherewithal in motion. You've got the drive. It's, it's there. You've got the seeds, plant them, let something grow, something new. Now you get to actually adopt that new year, new me mentality because you have that magician card and that's, that's awesome. Wish I had the new, the magician card in my, in my reading, but I didn't, but I didn't record my reading, but whatever. This is your reading. This is my reading. So anyway, you've got that magician. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. You've got that magician energy that, that, that major arcana. You know, right as soon as we, we, we step off, we've got the, we've got the new ideas the, the, and, and they're there and all the ideas are turning and they're turning and they're turning and you just want to make, bring them into fruition. And y'all, this is probably one of my most favorite magician cards in like all of the different tarot suits that or tarot decks that I have. Like, I just love his eyes and that hair. I get this like weird, like Gandalf vibe meets like the don't screw with me magician. I, he's just... I don't know. I just love him. He's awesome. And the overall outcome, the overall outcome for the next few months, the seven of pentacles. Look at all that growth. That's awesome. So you go down here from having all of these, you know, these internal choices, and now you're moving forward in those internal choices and you get the magician and, you know, the next three to six months, it's all about fostered growth. So you're growing, you are growing in finances, you're growing in education, you're growing in emotions, you're just developing and you are cultivating and fostering what you need to do in order to be successful. So ultimately at the, at, at the conclusion of all of this, we have our color mage Oracle, right? And so what color should you be using in your manifestations or in your practice or in your journey over the, the, the course of the next few months and we've got the canyon which is deep perspective well if you did not spend the last you know entire almost year what is it the last nine months in deep pers you know deep reflection and deep insight you're getting that new perspective so you're moving from being uncertain and making having to make choices to I've finally got the ideas. I've got the ideas. I'm ready to plant the seeds. And look at this. After after deep perspective or getting deep perspective allows that allows you to grow to actually become the I am statement. I am whatever I put my mind to. I am whatever I put my mind to. So overall, you have a great Yule reading and you have a wonderful time coming up for you. And I'm super excited that this Aries collective reading is the first reading that's going up on my new channel, my new endeavor for the new, for the, for the new year. So if you liked this reading, hit the subscribe button. If you didn't like the reading, don't hit the subscribe button, you know, but thanks for hanging out with me for the last 15 minutes. I really appreciate it. I hope you'll come back. 
I'd appreciate it if you came back. You can even, you know, like hit that little notification bell thing. So if you're interested, you can get notified when I upload all the time. All right. So until we meet again, have a great Yuletide.